Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Yes, it's not a cider review once again. It is a beer review, but it's not an apple-flavoured beer either. But a cider producer has had their influence in this, hence why it's still fair game. Uh, and it's a pretty special one as well, because... Um, not only was it my wife's birthday um, about a week or so ago, but it's also my birthday next Wednesday, which it's Saturday now. So, yeah, in a few days time. So naturally, you want to have something that's going to be a little bit special. And, well, I've been saving this for a little bit and it's finally time to give it a go. So today we have a collaboration beer from Odyssey Brew Company and Ross on Y Cider and Perry Company. And today I am trying out a bottle of their All Amongst the Barley Star Law Barrel Aged Beer. Look at that. Hold on, let me just uh, get, the, get the neck there. Look at that label. How cool is that? That's probably one of the coolest looking labels for a beer that I have seen to date. Uh, so, yes, it's... It's, I suppose it's sort of like a beer cider hybrid, I guess, but uh, we'll get into more detail about that. But yeah, really, really cool 750ml bottle, and uh, this one is 7.2% ABV, so yeah, a fairly heavy hitter. So this is a mixed fermentation beer. Um, it's, well, all the information is on this side, so it's bottle conditioned, pour carefully to leave sediment in bottle, uh, well, the sediment's sort of floating around in the bottle, so can't really do that. Anyway, Ross on Y, Cider and Perry have been growing apples on their family farm since the 1930s. They make wonderful, expressive cider the right way, using only whole juice and relying on wild fermentation, reflecting the unique terroir of their orchards. Odyssey Brew Company are a small family-run brewery whose focus is on quietly making modern, vibrant beer, tucked away in the heart of a National Trust estate. Odyssey produced a simple pale wort with aged hops from a local hop farm, fermented with an expressive English ale yeast. The resulting beer was transferred to Ross on Wise used barrels to undergo secondary fermentation on the cider lees, and then lightly bottle conditioned. The final beer is a unique meeting point of brewery, cidery and barrel, capturing the spirit of both producers and truly expressing their shared home, Herefordshire. Man. If that doesn't get your taste buds salivating, I don't know what does. Uh, so it contains uh, barley, oats, wheat, and spelt. Um, cereal as an, as an allergen. So yeah, now I got this two, maybe three years ago, and the best before date is still August 2025. So you can age this for quite a long time. Not only that, but this was also a one in a sort of a series of beers that they did and it was all um, different barrel fermentations. So this is the Starlaw barrel aged, but there was also Ar Arkentoshan uh, barrel aged and there was another quite well known, uh, I think it might have been Tam Navalin or something like that. Uh, that was barrel aged as well. But I don't know, this one sounded quite... Quite interesting. I've never heard of Star Law as like a, I'm assuming it's like a whiskey barrel or something like that. N never heard of it before. But you know what? Ross and White know what they're doing with ciders, so I thought might as well get it, give it a go. Speaking of giving it a go, let's get this top open. Now it's a big can, can. It's a big cap. So, whoa, wow. Okay, there we go. Ah, okay, so it's, hmm, that's, I've never seen that on a bottle cap before. It's got sort of a pressurised thing on the top there, I'm assuming to, um, well, to keep the carbonation, I'm guessing, I, I don't know. Well. Ooh, that smells, that smells a little bit special. Right, let's get this poured out, shall we? So yeah, never had anything from Odyssey Brew Company before, so don't really know what to expect. Um, I've had a fair few ciders from Ross on Y though, so um, I'll be putting links to some more of their reviews up on the top so you can go and check that out after this review. So, well, there we go. Look at, look at that color, that's lovely. Light, straw colored, um, hefty carbonation rolling up there. Um, I don't do fingers on the heads and everything, but I mean, you can sort of work out how many fingers that is. Depends on the size of the hand, I suppose. But yeah, nice rolling carbonation up on the top there. That looks 
That looks really inviting in the glass. So, what does it smell like? Okay, the first first thing that I think of is it smells like um, a saison, um, like a, a Belgian saison, getting getting all the funky uh, barnyard funky sort of aromas like hay, bit of bit of wet straw maybe, grassy notes. But then underneath all that, sort of getting like orange peel, touch of coriander there maybe. Slight herbal aromas coming off this as well. And dare I say it, it does actually smell a little bit of apples too. Yeah, the more I'm smelling this, the more that I'm getting different aromas coming through. But yeah, this really does have sort of a, a Belgian beer influence behind it. That smells really, really nice. So let's waste no more time and just see what I make of it. Cheers, everyone. Is this going to be a good birthday beer? Let's find out. Oh, the whiskey influence. Oh, that comes through. Right on the back end there. Tart. A little bit on the sour side. Those funky notes coming through on the taste as well. Grassy, hay, straw. The herbal is coming through as well. Getting that coriander, orange peel. Touch of cardamom, I wanna say. And then you get that lovely, warming, whiskey, alcohol, warmth as it's going down your throat as well. Really do feel it um, going down. Nicely warming. Aftertaste is really, really nice. A nice, nice lingering, uh, lingering finish. Slightly earthy, a little bit. I don't want this a little bit, little bit smoky maybe, but not overly so. Peaty. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that is that's lovely. That is really nice. So much depth of flavour in this beer. Hmm. Really nicely full-bodied as well. Really can feel every mouthful as it's going down. Oh yeah, that is that is something special. Mm. Yeah, definitely subtle citrus notes uh, just on the back end. A touch of fruitiness as well, like some sort of uh, some sort of tropical fruit is coming through. I want to say something like a passion fruit or a papaya, uh, just on the back end. All these flavours are complementing each other really well too. Um, this is a fantastically made beer. This is lovely stuff. Um, it's sort of, you don't really get the 7.2% apart from the, uh, the the warming of the whiskey as it's going down. Um, but yeah, this is, this is quite easy to drink. So quite a danger beer here, but honestly, really, really good stuff. So final taste before final verdict. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's really, it's melded all these flavors together really well. Um, as I said, it does remind me a lot of a Belgian Saison. So if you have ever had a Saison before, you kind of know what you're going to be ex going in, like to be expected going into this. But it's got so much more depth of flavor as well. It's all those lovely, um, those herbal, herbal fruity notes that are coming through that are just sort of complementing each other so well and it's just a really, really tasty beer. So yeah, lovely stuff. I had a feeling going into this with Ross on Y on board that this was gonna be a good one and I wasn't disappointed as well. So um, I'm gonna have to guess and say that this is probably one of the last bottles out there that's not been drunk. So I don't think it's actually available anymore, but if it is, definitely get a bottle and give it a go because it's fantastic. So. With that said, and it's probably one of the longest titles I've had to put on this blooming chalkboard, but for a final verdict, Odyssey Brewing Companies and Ross on Wise All Amongst the Barley Starlaw Barrel Aged Beer is getting a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, 
honestly, what a what a fantastic. It's not even a fantastic little beer. It comes in a that a nice nice big bottle. So obviously, I'm going to be sharing some of this with my wife as well, um, and hopefully, she'll like it. If not, oh well, more for me. <laughs> so there you go. That's another episode of the beer drinker for you guys. Hope you liked it. And as usual, I'll be back probably after my birthday. Pardon me. Probably after my birthday with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then. Well, you know what I'm going to do, aren't you? I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this beer. Take care, guys. Till next time.